Today we're going to talk about the Butterfield Library's online resources. These are resources that are simply found online. At one time we had a whole reference collection with encyclopedias and dictionaries and such, but today this just isn't the case. Some of these are free for us through New York State, others we get using our Putnam County funding, and then there are some that I purchased just for our users. Staff is responsible for being familiar with all of our online resources. From our home page, you can find a link to these resources. All of the state and Putnam County ones can be found by clicking on Online Resources on our menu bar. It will bring you to this page, and from here you can see all the categories along the top black menu bar. If you click one, it will give you details about that resource lower on the page. They are all li also listed along the left side menu bar. Click the first tab and it will show you magazines. RB Digital is how we get most of our magazines today. You can read online or download and read later. You can set up reminders so you don't miss an issue and you can read the current and or past issues. There are no limits to as many to the magazines that you can read. We also have newspapers. We have the New York Times, including the book review. We have Gale InfoTrack Newsstand, which has over 1,100 newspapers. And through Hudson River Valley Heritage, we have archived papers from the area. Unfortunately, not including the Putnam County News and Recorder. You can also learn a language at your own pace using Mango. Mango is a self-paced language learning module. It will hold your place. It will quiz you along the way. There are 45 languages and 15 English, English as a second language courses available. And it's great for all ages. Job and career help. You can get expert live help with your resume to find and find jobs in New York State. You can also get help finding the right career for you. Excellent for new people in the workforce. Excellent for students thinking about college and beyond. We offer Chilton's, which is a manual for every domestic and foreign automobile, including lightweight trucks. Through Mid Hudson, we also have access to ebooks and e audiobooks. There are different ways that we can get these items. One way is through Overdrive, another way is through Tumble Books. I'll talk about more of these in a second. With Overdrive, you use an app called Libby. This is very easy to use. I've used it. You simply download it, enter your library card, and it makes it very easy for future downloads. Another way is ebooks. Through Tumblebooks. Tumblebooks also offers e audiobooks. These are for children. Back to the main list of our online resources. We offer many history and genealogy resources. We have Ancestry.com for in-library use only, and that's used, um, or that's funded through Putnam County money. And then there's a general but a shared Ancestry.com that can be accessed from home. The library offers many reliable, vetted health resources, and the same for business, including video tutorials on how to get started. We offer homework help. Homework help is broken into three categories. You can see the tabs on this page for high school, middle school, and elementary school. There is a link for our practice testing center on this page. This is where kids can practice SATs, um, but yet yeah, older people may need it for certain tests, civil service tests, or even English as a second language. Here's the middle school page and the elementary school page. In addition to these resources, we have consumer reports. I personally have used this several times and found it extremely helpful. They have updated their symbols and um, it's easier to navigate if you had searched it once before. It checked again, it might be easier today. Now we offer additional resources to our patrons and when I say patrons, I'm including Garrison because I don't feel that we have enough to offer as far as music, ebooks, E audiobooks and movies. Eventually, Mid Hudson Library System will purchase movies and books like we do ebooks and audiobooks through Overdrive. 
but that is a system-wide decision, so it may take a while till the entire system gets to that place where they're ready to do that. So in the meantime, I thought it was very important to find a way to offer these services to our patrons. One way I do it is through Hoopla. Hoopla is great. Please try it out if you haven't. Um, basically, it's super easy to use. Um, you can see from my picture of my account here that I'm reading a book and I'm listening to an audio book and then yesterday I had watched a movie on it. Um, you can take out five items a month. That's something that I set and that's something that I can change, but I felt it was a good way to start because the way this works is when someone checks something out of Hoopla, I then pay for it, not the other way around. So theoretically, somebody could check out 20 items that I have to pay for and then they don't watch them. So that's why I limited it to five to start. It hasn't seemed to be a problem. Um, but this is really a patron-driven service because our patrons are basically deciding where my money's going. Um, there is no waiting with Hoopla. You can download it straight to your devices. It returns automatically or you can very easily return things e um, sooner. Freegal. Freegal gives our patrons access to music. They can stream it or they can download it. And the best part is you can keep three free songs a week. I think I've downloaded probably about 60 songs since we've had Freegal. Um, I get a reminder every Monday that I have three songs to download for the week, and I usually go through and do that. So this brings us to the end of our general um, online resources. I think this gives you a good starting point, and once you feel familiar, I think with everything that we've gone over here today, we can build upon that. So I thank you for your time, um, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me or stop by and see me. Um, basically, I just want us to be the best library we can be, and one of the ways to start is to know what we offer and be able to help people to use it readily. So I thank you.